Welcome back to Perspectives Media. On this episode of the Perspectives Podcast, we have a very talented guest, is me. We have the one and only Dana, is me. Dana, introduce yourself to the people. You know, people, my name is Dana Allen. Yeah, man. Born and raised, yeah. Enough people might know me, some people might not, but tonight you might get to know a little bit about me. Mm, so, by now, if you, if you have been checking the descriptions of the videos posted on the platform so far, you would notice um, I've tagged a page called DNA Made It. Yes, me. And this is the owner of the page. Yes, me. This is the beat maker. All the, all the background sounds you would hear during the podcast episodes. This is the man behind them. Yes, me. This is a beat maker. Yes, me. So on this episode, you'll get to know um, the man behind the beats of Perspectives Media. Yes, me. And we, we're working on a partnership basically where um, Dana will, will produce majority of the beats when we venture into music is in music production is me because dana is a very talented fella is it i mean, know them money since school days same way is me so going back to the first episode i promised y'all that um i would be showcasing a lot of the talent here in nevis is me saying kids are so far out to is me but Dana, tell the people them how you got into beat making. What inspired you to start making beats? Isn't it? Uh, to tell you the honest truth, right? It's from since me, basically from since me come out of my mother's womb, dog. Music. Yeah, music and everything in me. <laughs> like, <laughs> not a joke aside, music and everything, dog. Yeah. From a small, like, me don't know, like, father, he'd up, he'd up play bass and guitar. Mm, so your father play bass and guitar in a, in a banner or something? No, like in the church. My father oh, play, he, oh, he used oh, to play oh. bass and guitar in the church. Me take mm. over from that. My brother, he does play drum. He basically teaches how to play piano. The first instrument I first start playing is the piano. I teach myself to play a couple of songs. Like, as I listen to them, I learn to play them myself. Mm. But then... So you're a church boy. So you start off in the church choir basically. Like yeah. you, you play you play the piano, you play the drum, you play the guitar. Yeah, the, the main instrument is the bass guitar, but yeah, I could do a little thing on the piano, drums, rhythm guitar, and other I a couple other instruments out there too. Mm. So at at what age did you start playing those instruments? Uh, well, piano, I can't, I can't remember what age because, as I said, from a small, I used mm. to just tamper on the piano. But the bass guitar, I started in Todd Farm. I started in Todd Farm. I was doing music in school as a subject, and you had to learn, a, had to learn an instrument. So, mm. yeah, and I too, my father used to play bass guitar. I used to just love to hear my father play bass guitar. You see, you know, yeah, so you, you start play a bass guitar. You 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 also play the steel pan also. How, how do you get into steel pan? Okay, so that now, my music teacher Rohan Claxton. Mm. One day I just home get a phone call. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. You can make it down by the pharmacy. Show no problem. Soon I reach down there. Bam, I in the band. Well, actually I started out playing percussion, but then. I take my fasting self going the bass bass band saying that I just you know farming food playing a, playing a, a song and then from that they say okay then there you there yeah so you just you just fall into place upon the 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 pian, the steel pan band yeah so you you still play the steel pan well yeah because the man watch me straight in my face say you can't come off the bass pan no matter how much I say I want try another pan I said no I did it oh so you, you have been limited to um, the bass basically not necessarily limited it's just that the fact that every, everybody that knows me they give me a nickname uh, they don't call me bassy oh I'm, so you had the bass upon the band basically yeah <laughs> yeah so um, 
you ventured into beat making um at what point did you take it serious and you decide say oh you are gonna um do this as as a business basically i think it was around what 2018 2018 mm. i think so i think around 2018 when 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 um when the first lockdown happened the first lockdown that i about 2020 2020 uh, around, around yeah around there yeah around because upon lockdown during lockdown that's when i saw my first beat oh you sell your first beat during lockdown so corona was a blessing to you then <laughs> you see so because to, to me you got nothing better to do just sit down and make beats mm. so you sit down home and make some beats and over the lockdown how, how did you get into contact with somebody to um for them to actually purchase a beat uh, it, it was my little cousin um one of his cousins from sink it's um they were talking and he uh, he sent a couple of my beats them to him and I said he liked this one. Then he reached out to me said that he wanted. it. Mm-hmm. And then the first one that he actually wanted wasn't the one that he bought. Oh. Because the next one that I ha- was working on during the lockdown, I sent it to him. He said he liked it. I'm the same night. Bam. Yeah. So I just saw, just saw it, it. Everything just worked out itself. Yeah. Mm. So then, all right. Lockdown go on, you sell your first beat. Um, was it that during that time you came up with the name DNA made it? No, no. So when it, did you come up with that name? That was that was back in that was back in six farm. Okay, I had this I had this girl. I I used to call her white chick. Don't ask me why. <laughs> like we was cool. And Is that white thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Two, two, my name, Dana, DNA, four letters. Mm. And it sound close to DNA. She used to just call me DNA. Oh, and so then, DNA and white chick. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's from that, it's from that, the name just stick. Mm. So, you, you, from, from that, so, you decide, say, when you're going into beat making, you're going to call it thing DNA made it then. Yeah, or you get the, or you come up with the made it part, or it just flowing. Because I was I was kind of brainstorm I, I was on my way to a studio, Cross Castle, and I was brainstorming for like a name to call myself. Mm. And it, but I was like DNA Beast, but me like that, like DNA Productions, me like that. Then when I hit DNA, made it, you know, it just so right, yeah, it just stick. Mm. So all right, DNA made it. Now is it that you only do? beat making or you're going to music production itself well later down in the line i'm planning to go into like recording like full the full works mm. planning to but right now right now due to limited resources I'm just sticking with the beat making so far yeah so I stick to the beat making well um personally i'm very impressed by your work isn't it because we have a project in the workings and um so far every idea of my gear so far you, you you just you just find a way to bring them to life you see me and that's admirable you see me as a youngster seeing you going after your thing and actually taking your thing serious that's impressive you see me because only for young youth have talent but at the end of the day them not do nothing with it you see me so then where you do with it at the end of the day if you not use it then it don't make sense you have it yes, you yes. me? and it it's nice to see a young person actually venturing into music and taking it serious you see me so what's the what's the plan other than for going to recording what's the plan for dna made it i because right now right now the main thing i got in, in in mind to do is recording and production like uh, like planning to uh, plan, I'm uh, trying to work on a like a mini studio just to start out, mm. and then like as I get as I get better, then I just you know move up into you know full industry. Yeah. So you get you get a lot of support from your parents. I honestly, my parents they might not um, like the type of beats that I'm making, 
but at the end of the day, Christian. Yeah. yeah, you know the thing, Anna, but yeah, at the end of the day, they appreciate that, like they they support me, they pushing me. Yeah, so yeah, they wanna they wanna support me hard too. Yeah, so um, you get support from your parents and family, I would imagine. But mm. do you get so, the support from locals? Or uh, uh, you would say you get a lot of local support here. Oh, yeah, but is honest speaking, is a lot of the lot of my friends them and people who know that are into music and them things. They was pushing me saying, by you beast them top tier. You need to push yourself somewhere. You can't just be a make them and put them down." somebody out there gonna like them push them mm. so if it wasn't for like all the people behind me in me ear constantly say bye you got talent push it more than ever day after that yeah well me see the talent and me acknowledge the talent is me and for anybody who would like to get a dna beat is me tell the people more they can find it on the socials no? all right so on facebook you can find me dna and uh dana allen that's me from Facebook and Instagram, Dana 23 all And then you can, as I said earlier, on, on YouTube, type in DNA made it and you can find me. We will talk about um, traditional um, stereotypes to be more specific, tradition, tra- traditional outlook on hairstyle. Yes, me because um at times you have parents who like them 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 want to see you as a youngster with a certain image like well groomed at all times yes, me and as you can see me carry my head certain way yes, me and at first mummy used to shoot out after that yes, me and me me lo- me love to push up sometimes so me carry my beard me not, me not shave up more while and Mummy, I said, Mummy, we ropes at first, but right now she, 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 it's like she, she, she frustrated. Like she says, she can't control me, so she leave me alone. Uh, we have, we have DNA made it, yeah, yes, me. So DNA, how your parents feel about um hairstyles? Like them, them, your parents want you to be well groomed. I, it wasn't until recently me decided to, you know, what? forget. I gonna grow up me here and see how we go. I'm like my mother tell me say, anyhow you say you're about slacks. I light in that. <laughs> so, I, hey, I, I, I was I was I was afraid to say me I got try to plot at me here and then when we wake up next morning, head full of smoke. You said not me. Mm-mm. Yeah. So so mommy mommy basically know why you grow your ear. Not dog, but at the end of the day, right? I I the other day I, I tell her. Is I mean here I can grow it out. If I ain't like it, I cut it. Plain and simple. Mm. But the thing with me and my mother, right? We close, eh? As much as you might see, we go back and forth and everything. Them, me and my mother close. Mm. Closer than anything else. You can make a joke with my mother, right? Yeah, and you would think that me and my mother are followed or fight or something. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so your mother burn out them thing that basically. <laughs> So, so you think, all right? You think um, in this day and age, you think that's right, or you think it's 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 wrong, basically? Honestly speaking, right? I mean, I really see a problem with like people, like man in general, growing out there here, because like when you look at it, when you look at it, like at a broad spectrum, is that? Like common thing now, you see, man got a hair longer than some woman, and woman out there cut off all the hair. So like, it's something. Well, me think it them them have a view of it because like them must say, woman supposed to grow hair, isn't it? While man should be well groomed, like cut off hair and thing and have short hair because I think it, them and based on their perspective on life. It's feminine to have um, long hair. But I don't see it so. Yes, me. And part of it comes from mental slavery too. Because um, if you look upon it, the white the white man and the Indian, them man they have for them hair longer than even your hair right now. Mm. Yes, me. And that's seen as 
as way you call it, formal, as a formal hairstyle. Mm. But you, as a black man, me have my locks. This is me trad- traditionally. This is my hair. Yes, me. This is my expression of my Africanness. This is how me. This this yo. Me see this as the, the most formal hairstyle. Yes, what me I say. So me is like a form of mental slavery to me, fam. Yes, me like. Me not, me, not, me not really agree with 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 how people see it. Like even in the workplace too. I see a change happening, even in school, nowadays here, I don't know about Jamaica, how Jamaica I run now, but in a school here, I see, see the youth them being able to wear them here, even in a locked plot up, you know, you see me, so there's a shift going on, you see me, and at the end of the day, is is like, the people them are wake up, like the youngster them are wake up to these realities, like, no need for a cut off me here fam. Why am I supposed to hide my hair? Why my kinky hair um, is seen as some as not good enough to wear out, out in a formal environment? You know what I mean? We actually said that not that 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 not that not, not, not good enough. That not good enough for your office space. And that and that's the thing men understand. Like, like I I see it as like freedom of expression, like self expression. Mm. Like you express yourself how you feel like. You can't just walk up to somebody and say, oh, man, like how you hear that, cut that. Who is you to tell them must cut the hair that? Like, that not make no sense. Yeah. It's basically, you're telling them, yo, you can't be yourself. You got to be like other person. You can't, you, like, you got to act like other person to be like other person. Uh, like, you can't elevate in life unless you act like, you know, the stereotype. Yeah. That not make sense. Like, yo, success now have no, no look in your brother. Is me? And... Th- as me tell, as me been saying, there's a change. You see me? There's almost an, an enlightenment. You see me? So people are wake up to these things. Like, you see Jay Z right now. You see Jay Z have some f- big free farm locks. You see me? And Jay Z is a billionaire. You get what I'm saying? Aye. It's like people, people, people fail to understand, say, yo. And I like back in the days, we have to stoop to the white man. The world open to, to us now. Isn't me? And what I like to segue into our next topic. Isn't me? Next topic. Racism. Isn't <laughs> what are your thoughts on racism? Uh, dog. I, at, at the end of the day, people are people. Me not, like, me not see the sense of like saying, oh, me better than he because I'm a skin color. Uh, me better than he because of where he come from. Because at this end of the day, when you think about it, some of the biggest houses by neighbors, who own them? You tell me, man, no? <laughs> Guyanese. Yeah. That, uh, like, men trying to make it in a no kind of like racial thing or not like that. But most of the, most, from what me see, most of the biggest houses I'm building right now, uh, most of the amount of houses I see by neighbors right now, Guyanese got them. If not Guyanese, somebody who ain't originally from here. And maybe they're born here, but their parents from somewhere else. That's interesting. I first day I hear that. No, that, like, truth. Le- legit. But the other day, the other day, I, we coming from church, dropping off somebody up the road. Pastor, a big, big, big horse, man. Two-story horse and thing. Who on them? Guyanese. Because the other day, I hear somebody say, the thing is, foreigners are come here, they're not afraid to spend money because you got to spend money to get money. And you got to spend money to, to get things. And me hear them say that local people, they, they, they want to hold on to their money to try to build it up. But then sometimes when you think about it, you got to spend the money to get what you want. Mm. Like nothing wrong with saving your money. Eh? If you save it to get what you need to get, then you use it to build up yourself. Yeah, well, going back to the racism part, I, me, me not have no problem with racism in that, cause all uh, right, uh, all Mister Racism Zin is like this. It's like everybody have for them like a pack, is me? And if if the white man feel like him superior to the black man based on his skin color, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, him have a right. To feel that way you know where me have a problem 
is when him being racist begin to affect me so the problem is not racism to me you know? the problem is systematic racism so you see when when you can't advance in a life because somebody is racist or because of somebody's personal view mm. on something then that's where it's a problem you see me so the problem is not racism itself you know is systematic racism you see me and racists are of of too much power in society you see what i say and around here it might it might not so prevalent because it's a majority black community we have here you see me but in america systematic racism is an actual thing you know what i mean but how me see it is like it's just like even religion you see me because Ronya Ronya you will have people who um evil evil rasta get victimized because of them religion mm. minute 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 say Ronya but Jamaica the Caribbean in general mm. you you are rasta you get looked down on you see me you are, you are even a Muslim or a Hindu them shun you because a majority Christian community you get what I say so at the end of the day everybody um, have them personal view and things you see me and at the end of the day there is only a problem when your view become universal you get what I say it's like you are trying to force your view upon everybody else you get what I say so it's not just racism it's religion you see me it's sexuality Right. it's it's culture everything you get what me i say so once once a man have their view and them allowed to express themselves within their space from that's supposed to be acceptable to anybody not just me and you right, right. isn't me mm, i just saw me feel about it is it uh, the whole the whole religion and all those things there right me, me the kind of a person, right? I like, I got friends from a couple different religions, right? And if they invite me to the church, you know how some people will be like, oh, me, me this is a religion, so me now I got there. No, again, and me just gonna sit down and listen, cause I like to pick out the similarities in the different religions and be like, I, right, ain't much of a difference here. It's just that everybody got their own name for whoever they must have. But when you listen, when you actually sit down and listen, because back down at work, you know how them and they just come in and just start the whole long debate. But like to just stand up there and just listen, because them things are just interesting to me. Here are kind of different like perspectives on the same topic. You just by you, you learn something from it. And mm-hmm. yeah, me just like you just stand up there, just listen to them man and just laugh because them man I make big noise, you know. Yeah, it's not because like that. because them them believe now they must say, isn't me? And at the end of the day, a man belief is just a man belief, and some people like them them fail to understand that, isn't me? But it's not as if it's not as if they them like make noise with each other, like cussing, like the man the man I get loud, but the man I keep it respectful and down me like me like when people talk share the difference of opinions but actually listen to each other to actually learn something from it mm, that's true is me when i when i need the fighting is me the fighting are necessary at the end of the day if we can have healthy conversations then that's that's more important than me just shut you down or you just shut me down and then what what we accomplish this up is what i say at the end of the day we, we, we just we, we not even get an understanding of what that person are me is trying to say and that's how, that, that's why it boils down to understanding because if you can't understand what me I try to tell you then you're just gonna stuck in you know, your one way mm-hmm. and at the end of the day you know me not me not try to convince convince you you know you see me me just show you what oh, me think is it and that are the problem is me everybody want to be right sometimes there is no wrong or right you know there's just your opinion and my opinion is what i mean say mm. and that's one of the things that doesn't irritate me too you know? like if me and you are got an argument and me try to get me point across and you just cut me off and no one listen to what me say me and get back some just gonna stop that yeah 
And that, and that's it. You no matter what you try to tell me to try to get me back in again. No, that's it for me. Me not talk again. You know, want to listen to me? Some, some be done. Done deal. <laughs> yeah, man. So people leave your thoughts in the comment section. Is it me? Tell me what you think about these topics. Is it me? What you think about racism? What you think about people forcing their beliefs on on people? Is it me? In other segment, yeah. We're well, gonna talk about. <laughs> I talk about some relationship vibes, some sex vibes, so you know, <laughs> general vibe. Yes, me. So, Dana, you in a relationship, Maji? Right, I'm gonna say no, not right now. Mm. So, you just go and beat some things. Right, things, things are for right now, but I'm single like on US dollar bill. Yeah? Yeah, dog. You me, still what? Single like on US dollar bill. Oh, I think you say a single like me. I don't know where you get the information <laughs> from you. Let me know about you, boy. <laughs> oh, but yeah, man, yeah, man. You say a single, so you not get, you not get none. <laughs> As I said, things are rough right now, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> story time. <laughs> so, yo, man, man, we used to work at the same place with Dana, you know, and. <laughs> One day I go in the bathroom you know, and just done with a leak, you know. I'm here like somebody coming in the bathroom. So, I did a shake off, flush the toilet, is it? <laughs> and I'm here like the person go over the other side because it's a two style bathroom vibes, you know what I mean? And the person could lock the door, is it? And I say alright, I say what I'm going on here. Cause I did, did, did not mind my business, you know. I me, me flush the toilet and I did it. Oh, um, by the time I left out, I it, 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 it bathroom style, my style, you know. I hear like, well, water chuck turn over. Yo, I say, yo, I hear like, wah, 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 wah. High pressure pipe turn on over here, that style, brother. <laughs> Yo, I say, well, lad, I want really to really go out of there, dog. Yo, I say, Yo, I love this that me ever hear a piece of job in a toilet, people. Me swear, people, them toilet mash up. <laughs> Yo, I say, Yo, well, lad, I laugh here to myself, say, Yo, well, lad. Me office it a who over there so a piece not a tile it there with them the kind of pressure they in the system. Me say yo, him a him a yo, woman yo. Me say I'm frightened of people. Yo, me say yo. Me say me say me say wash me hand. Yes, me me say wash me hand slow. Cause me me office it a who that a come out of tile it. Yes, me. So the person flush tile it and 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 a go on do them things see me yes. me see the door open me a peep in the mirror and I look I look around I look at the day now that yo I see me nearly dead yo I <laughs> pray around the whole store then I push up right now I push a man name for a couple of months after that you see because I tell, I tell you anybody who have them the kind of pressure they full of oil now nah, I get no pussy to blood <laughs> then I could be yo so a friend in time they ain't get nothing with you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's sh- <laughs> for me. Oh, that's struggle, boy. <laughs> but at the same, at the same, but at the same time, right? I've been drinking a lot of water too, eh? Cause I've been trying to drink a lot more water. Cause I've been not drinking water. I've not drinking water. Them things. Dad, so you know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> they tell me I'm being turkey and stroke me, G. I'm just stroking turkey. <laughs> that means hey. that mean your finger, them tear it and tell me, dog. Nah, the man. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Them time they was just walking home. Nothing else. <laughs> it's a day tell me I walk on home. But you look like a two job they have them time the dog. <laughs> you work for people <laughs> I work by a finger them. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> yo, I weak youth. <laughs> Jaja God. Yo, Mr. People. Oh, yo, brother. Mr. Pretty Ron is tour. Say my name, Pressure. I pre- yo, a man like him full of aisle, brother. Them the kind of pressure there, your system. <laughs> so, my G, where I look for in a woman? When I look a woman, where I look for in a woman? <laughs> By honestly speaking, right? You know how most people will look like, they will look for looks first, then everything else after? Mm. I, I ain't, I ain't gonna be one of them person that say look saying really and priority, but like if if the vibes good, like me and you, me and you, we could we could sit down and just vibes, yeah, that then me not me not gonna problem getting your shot. You keep on and say me and you, I know me and you, I know me. Burn that, no, burn that, burn that, <laughs> burn that. Now the thing, nah, like, but but we thought that like if me and, if me and the girl of vibes good. And everything like me, me and, like she personality and everything then, then yeah. I think I work on that. Mm. Just personality. That means you take off a big fatty. Shriek, boy. Tickles gotta, gotta, gotta get things do. Hey Tickers, leave it leave, leave your name dog in the comment section car. My big beat maker want you in the tickers. Is it me? You see, you're that, you're, you're that take up one of them big man PDMG. Okay. Um, me, me I don't nah take up one I can manage, but... Dog. Tick girls? Yeah, dog. First. Tick? No, me don't nah talk about tick, you know. Tick different from fatty, you know. Okay, big okay, fatty, okay. Let, let me say it you know. Tick, fat, in between, they could get it. <laughs> Hear that? Hear that, ladies? Yeah, man. Link up. DNA made it. And man, they put on some soothing rhythm for you. Know? Yeah, man. Caress down the big body there, is it? Mm-hmm. They, DNA made it. Right? Boy, some, some man, none of the best you get at, at, at that there. They say the best are the fatty, them. Say if I had a fatty. Hmm? But me not, me not talk from talk, I never talk from experience. <laughs> so we are trying to see you, you don't chop chop couple fatty already, my G. <laughs> uh, let me let me drop a story, you know. Yeah. When when Angola when Angola like just to you know just a cool with a couple of my partners and had an event called Eyes Wide Shut. Bungie Garland and somebody has been a been a been a perform about mm. check in the morning. Let me that cool, you know. When I be part of them down there, he come with a girl and she cousin. Later down, like, them man actually put the girl on me and, you know, them time, them still timid and cover them thing there. So, but then yeah, after... them time, they're fully pressure mode. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then, uh, you know, me just like, you know what? Freak it. So, me watch the girl shaking face to you. Watch her. You may dance the partner for the rest of the night. And just that. Me and the girl dance all night. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well, morning. Ah, uh, morning. Me step back, I just watch the girl. Uh, me see my partner walk up behind the girl. My girl look back, spot him. Hit, just spin around him and I come right back by me. Me say, yeah. So, I right, cool, cool. Yeah. But then the girl, the girl cousin start feet sick and them thing. That's so all. Follow him by the car. And then, as me turn around, he try to walk up. No, she grab me and I pull me. Yeah. She had the chance. Yeah. And me like, what? Me like, how do you have to go on your boy? Come in the car. Me, like, me confused. Mm. Reach at the, the house now. Me step out. Pan look back, watch me. Mm. And, and I right in the middle. Mm. Luckily, he was walking distance from which part maybe not step. But the next morning now, I forget, me, uh, me forget the shades I get from the event. So I went back with my shades. So hold on, hold on. Last time I got around too. I cut you. Hold on. So, I didn't hear nothing about no boots. What do you expect, boy? You must have used the boots in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I had none. What? 
I had none. 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 I I had none. 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 I had Your mother go, your, your mother go beat you. Boy, if your mother find out, your mother bust me ass, but it don't happen. Can't take it back. You, you get tested, my G. When I say get tested. But don't test myself plenty times after that. Let me see if. God, as I come to you tonight, I'm praying for DNA made it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, people. <laughs> so we have come to the end of, of another very, very, very entertaining episode of the Perspectives Podcast. Is, remember you can follow us on instagram at perspectives underscore media you can find us on youtube at perspectives media isn't it so that's perspectives not perspective but perspectives media you can also follow us on facebook at perspectives media isn't it so danny tell the people and what they can find them the g all right you check my facebook dana allen you'll find me Instagram, Dana 23 all and then YouTube, Dana made it. Yeah, yeah man. So people, until next time, we're out. Hoy, and I said nobody now believe it. <laughs> well, if they may say I'm me, I beat it. Me and the pastor, me not go preach it to a we all it down. Yeah, man, it's Dejo, you know and I mean, giving you a different perspective on perspectives media. Easy. Perspectives Media.